I sometimes wondered what exactly was happening in regard to the valves as I turned the camshaft sprocket when doing a compression test, etc. So before fixing the cylinder head on, I took this opportunity to record what happens. I start with the camshaft locking pin in, in each clip, and end with it back in. I understand it's quite unusual for cylinder 1 to be on the gearbox end, but in the case of the Peugeot, this is the case. As you can see, the inlet valves are the larger valves, and I've coloured them blue, and the exhaust valves are smaller, and I've coloured them red. The timing belt is on the right hand side of the video. So the timing pin is in, I'll remove that and now turn the camshaft. You'll notice that the camshaft naturally wants to drop in at the 5 o'clock position, the 8 o'clock position, the 11 o'clock position and back at the 2 o'clock position again where the pin is. I should now slow this down to half speed. So the pin's removed. There we go. Five o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eleven o'clock. And two o'clock. So two o'clock. Onto five, onto eight, onto eleven, and back to two. This is now a close-up of the individual cylinder valves as I turn the camshaft sprocket. This is cylinder 4, the cylinder nearest to the timing belt. I will turn the camshaft two full revolutions. So at the 2 o'clock position both valves appear to be closed. As we turn, the exhaust valve opens at 5 and then closes again by 8 o'clock. The inlet valve now opens by 11 and then closes again by 2 o'clock. This is cylinder 3, the second cylinder away from the timing belt. I will turn the camshaft to full revolutions. So on removing the timing pin, the exhaust valve is partially open at the 2 o'clock position. By 5 o'clock it shuts. The inlet is now opening by 8 o'clock. And shutting it again by 11. And the exhaust is back open again at 2. This is cylinder 2, the third cylinder away from the timing belt. I would turn the camshaft to full revolutions. On removing the timing pin, the inlet valve is partially open at the 2 o'clock position. Then it closes by the 5. The exhaust starts to open at the 8. And then closes at the 11. Inlet's back open by 2 o'clock. This is cylinder 1, the cylinder next to the gearbox and flywheel. I will turn the camshaft to full revolutions. 
So in the two o'clock position, both valves appear to be closed. At five o'clock, the inlet is open. Closes by eight o'clock. 11 o'clock, the exhaust is open and then closes again by two o'clock. Thank you for watching and please see part 4 where I fit the head gasket.